Okay, in order to simulate flow in places like lakes or streams or the atmosphere, often what's done is to use a version of the Navier-Stokes equation called the shallow water equations. And what you do is you take the 3D Navier-Stokes equations and then average them across the depth of the water. So you've got really a 2D equation that's uh, got the horizontal dimensions, but the vertical dimension, the depth, has been averaged out. Okay, so that results in a new form of the equation that's uh, slightly different than the full Navier-Stokes equations. Uh, it's a bit easier to solve, and that's what's used to analyze flow in these thin layers of water, layers of water that are that are uh, whose depth is uh, small compared to their uh, lateral distances. Okay, so the shallow water equations are not in COMSOL, and in order to use them in COMSOL, we have to be able to uh, modify the equations that COMSOL uh, can handle. And uh, there's a way of doing that. It's called uh, the physics builder. Uh, and it, there's been a, um, a physics builder uh, system that's set up for the shallow water equations. And so I wanted to show you how to go about using that. Here are instructions uh, for doing this. And I'll just go ahead and show you now how to do it. So what we need to do is uh, basically, if we look at the physics right here, uh, these are this is describing the uh, equations that are being solved. And we have to generate a new physics interface that has the shallow water equations in it. And so that's done with the physics builder. And so the first thing that you need to do is go and check and see if the physics builder is uh, is turned on. So here's builder tools, and you got to check that box right there. And if you do that, then you should be able to see there new from the physics builder. And we'll just uh, we'll just open, go to open, and we're going to open a physics builder file. So we go down here. This is version 4.3b and version. Uh, four four it's slightly different but we're going to open this physics builder file uh, select that file type and then I'm going to navigate to the location of the file that I need uh, the file is called shallow water equations okay so this is the physics builder uh, this stuff over here looks a bit different than the model builder that we're used to seeing. This is to set up these shallow water equations. Now, to implement this, go to the physics builder manager here, and under development files, say add builder file. And we're going to put that shallow water equation builder file in. And now it's right there. Okay? So now, once we've done this, we can open a model that includes the, the physics that has these shallow water equations in it. So now I'm going to go to open. And uh, here's a version of the Grand River problem that is set up using the shallow water equations. So I open this, and we go here. There's the equation interface, or the physics interface for the shallow water equations. And it has boundary conditions um, like what we're used to seeing um, for, say, fixing the hydraulic head uh, right there, fixed water height. That's the hydraulic head that we'll fix here in this problem along the bottom. And we'll have an inlet condition up here at the top and inlet condition here at this jetty. Okay, so this is a way that we can then uh, modify the physics and use, basically what this allows us to do is set up COMSOL so that it can use any equation system that we want. And it also allows the interface to be modified so that we can have uh, different boundary conditions that are specified. And essentially it amounts to a customized version of the COMSOL physics interface.